In this Cloud RF tutorial, we're going to cover importing data into the interface to perform coverage analysis. This feature allows you to assess your network's performance against a series of points organized by groups and IDs. And to import our data into the interface, press the import button on the bottom ribbon, then press coverage analysis. We can perform coverage analysis on points in a CSV, KML, or KMZ format. Pressing the help button opens up more information about how to import your data. For a CSV file, we need to have our data formatted by latitude, longitude, ID, and group. For this tutorial, I've organized my data by latitude, longitude, ID, and group, with ID denoting gates and group denoting terminals. With a valid set of 160 points, I can press OK to upload this into CloudRF. The map will now zoom in to the uploaded points, which are now visible on the map. The coverage metrics is also visible in the bottom left corner, with points being organized by their group. To do a calculation, I can press the Start Calculation button on the left-hand side. That calculation, taking just over one second, is now complete and my coverage is visibly shown on the map. The coverage metrics is also updated, letting me know how many points have been covered. Additional radios can be added into the network, and our coverage metrics will accrue with each of these new systems. Once we have established our network, we can download our results by pressing the download button. This report will show you the precise precision of each point alongside whether it is covered by your current network and what the predicted signal strength is at the location. For more information on coverage analysis, you will find a link to our documentation in the description below. If you would like to keep up to date with the new features in CloudRF, subscribe to this channel.